All right, so you want the lowdown on the HD 36 bandsaw mill from Norwood. Well, I just happen to have one right here, and I'm doing a tool review just for you. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, the facts are this. It's a kit mill. Good thing about that is a lot of the parts you can get at the hardware store. Nuts, bolts, blah, blah, blah. Little pieces here and there. You can make them yourself. Um, the negative part about that is there's a lot of nuts and bolts and you got to make sure they're tight and they come loose and there's a little bit more maintenance involved because it's a kit mill and it's not made out of welded construction like other more expensive sawmills. It's not as well built as I hoped it was. Uh, some of the brackets for my log leveling hydraulics, uh, I put a big oak log on it and tried to level it out for the taper in the log before I made my cut. and. The bracket bent because the log was so flipping heavy and it was only about two foot in diameter given that it's oak that is very heavy but hey the mill said that they said that this thing can hold a 36 inch diameter log which no nobody's gonna get a log that big up on a mill like this uh, not unless it's a dry cedar the engine itself is pretty good from what I know it's a Briggs and Stratton motor it's 23 horsepower I got the bigger one because that's what you do you always get the biggest and the best um, but the muffler they put on it, it backfires. And I know it's not unique to my machine because I've been watching other YouTubers using their mills and theirs are backfiring too because I can hear it in the video. So uh, Norwood might want to fix that issue. Selling mills that backfire all the time. Uh, other than that, it's a pretty good mill. Cuts the wood well. The motor works great. I like the, the throttle and the lubric blade lubrication control all on that side handle there that you push along. Negative would be that they didn't use uh, zinc plated bolts on everything. In some spots they got just regular steel bolts and uh, you know these things are working outdoors guys. So they rust pretty quick. Um, my bolts are already rusting, a lot of them. Uh, the bolts that they use for the blade guides right where the water lubrication comes out on the blade it holds the, the ceramic blade guides those bolts aren't even zinc plated or stainless like they're steel and they're rusting right so eventually I'm gonna have to replace those before they rust right out completely and I can't even get them out that's a negative switching the blades everything about this mill is very easy to operate so that's a good thing um, because I'm a beginner and I don't have any background milling wood other than the fact that I'm just a woodworker and I like woodworking. Um, so in that sense I'm learning a whole new skill set. And trust me, it takes time. Another thing is that I got the manual log loader. That takes a long time to load a log on. And it kind of freaks me out because when you're loading a big log you think the cable's going to snap and come back and hit you in the face. Which probably won't happen, but still, it's always in your head. The blades, the blades dull pretty quick. I'm going to be buying some of their higher end blades, the cobaltized blades, that are made out of high speed steel, hoping that they'll give me a lot more blade life, because it takes about 45 minutes to sharpen and do a tooth setting on, on a blade, so that's a lot of precious time spent just keeping your blades uh, cut and straight and sharp, so... That I wasn't anticipating. I thought the blades would last a, bit, last a bit longer, but they don't last that long. Only maybe one or two logs max. Other than that, I highly recommend you buying a hydraulic mill if you're going to be doing this full time because the manual options uh, are pretty basic at best. Uh, the clamping system works all right. Don't get your finger caught in this thing when it drops because it'll friggin' chop your hand open. They put a little sticker there though to warn you, so pay attention to that sticker. Play they give you a manual option, but they're hoping that you'll get so pissed off with how pathetic it is that you'll just upgrade to hydraulic. That's what I think anyways, because I really want to upgrade to hydraulic now. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. So. Uh, if you like this review, if you found it helpful, if it gave you some insider information that uh, it's going to help you make up your mind on what mill you're going to buy, or if you're going to buy a mill at all, you know, do me a solid and hit that like button over there. 
And uh, if you think I'm awesome like the rest of the world does, then you should probably just subscribe because, you know, follow the crowd. Everybody's doing it. We'll see you next time. Samurai out. That's really nothing. Check this out. Dude. Check out all these curved, naturally curving arbutus trees, which is on the Madrona family for you Americans. I'm going to be sawing these into live edge beams that I'm going to use to make like knee braces and interlocking roof beams, all hand cut joinery to build my shop. Uh, that's coming up down the road, probably about a year away. So make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on that awesome woodworking action. This is about as real as it gets, man. Like Japanese samurai meets English tutor meets North American awesome meets Canadian amazingness, you know, so dig it, because it's happening, and you don't want to miss it, because ah! it'll be like that fast, man, it'll be like, <laughs> you didn't even see that coming. <laughs>